Seton Palace is 60 kilometers northeast of Berlin. This stately manor dates back to the 14th century. This is the location of the Orangerie restaurant. Chef Holger von Bader uses almost exclusively seasonal and regional products, like wild garlic, a typical spring plant that grows throughout Germany. Wild garlic is a vegetable. It's like a mix of chives and garlic. And it's a very healthful herb. It was used a long time ago also as a medicine. The taste is lighter and milder than if you use garlic. Today, Holger von Bader is making wild garlic puree and roulotte of pork and wild garlic pesto, a la slow food. To make the pesto, Bader chops the wild garlic, adds two spoonfuls of grated parmesan and a spoon of roasted pine nuts. Then he adds cold pressed olive oil and the juice of half a lemon before making a puree with the blender. He then peels and boils half a kilo of potatoes. This is a type of potato originally from the Lunebag Heath in northern Germany. I've used it for four or five years. It dries when it's cooked a long time, and that's good for a lot of dishes and for mashed potatoes. He mashes the potatoes. Then he warms 100 milliliters of cream and 50 milliliters of milk and adds the potatoes. Then he adds 50 grams of butter and the chopped wild garlic. Now for the pork and wild garlic pesto. We got the pigs locally from the nearest village, Schwankte. We have someone who's been raising these pigs for about five years. He started with four or five pigs, and we were the first to buy them there. Meanwhile, they're so well known that pork from his Mangalitsa pigs is on the menu at top-class restaurants in Berlin. The Mangalitsa pig originates from Hungary. They're not kept in pens. They need to be outside, which is also why they have so many bristles. They mostly eat acorns and grass. The idea was to produce wholesome meat without antibiotics, without large-scale farming, and then giving them space to produce wholesome meat. Holger cuts 500 grams of pork into four large pieces. Then he pounds them flat and spreads pesto on them. Next, he rolls them up and secures them with toothpicks. The roulades are browned on both sides and baked at 80 degrees for 5 to 10 minutes. This pork has a more nutty flavor than run-of-the-mill pork, but it's not as strong as wild boar. A lot of people say it's a mix of the two. The dish is ready for serving. Young carrots go well with it. A typical spring dish from the Brandenburg region with local ingredients and cooked according to slow food criteria.